Hi, everybody. You know how Mike feels about manufactured ignorance. We got a good one this morning. First of all, we want to thank our dear friend Joanne who sent us this information. Oh boy, it's a gem. You're right. They are freaking nuts. Just when we think that they can't possibly print anything more stupid. <laughs> oh, ignorant. Talk about manufacturing ignorance. Oh. Yeah. I was I was actually in bed half asleep last night when she read this to me and it just you know, I was tired. My mind was asleep. And then when I woke up this morning and I read it again, it's like, oh, my God. Yeah. That, <laughs> I, I don't know how this is going to come out in this video because I, oh, am, we know, I, am, we? I am going from calm to, to pissed off like right now because this is just, <laughs> I just, I, I can't comprehend how the human mind could manufacture such ignorance. I mean, I, I, I can't comprehend that. Yeah. And oh, my goodness. We may use the phrase uh, for our buddy J.W. No More, who said that one of the <laughs> Bethel yeah. brothers used the term uh, dang homos. And yeah, we well, don't have anything against homosexuals. No, it, it just you know, my, this is just... My just, brother was gay. Yeah, it's just to show how ignorant... Watchtower has been, and and how in the mind of a Jehovah Witness that they can believe that God's Spirit is directing them to print this nonsense. I mean, I just but sweetie, this is uh, old light, and they have progressed uh, since then. Well, you know what? Sooner or later, that damn light bulb's gonna burn out for good. All this off and on, off oh, and on. Oh my goodness! Yeah, you, <laughs> you think it's burned out by now? Yeah, you know, I think it is. You know, he, he, here's the thing: Jehovah's Witnesses. You've heard the talks a hundred times. You've, you've read the scripture. I think it's um, from F Philippians. Train your perceptive powers to distinguish between right and wrong. And your bullshit. perceptive powers are failing you big time. <clears throat> That's you, you, You're utterly on a road to destruction if you're going to continue to believe Watchtower is being directed by God's Holy Spirit. Especially when it is... Yeah, my goodness. <laughs> so, uh, this one comes where now? Okay, now this one is from the Golden Age, which was Ooh. the prequel to the Awake yeah, magazine. The Golden Age. Yeah, we which all is a long... Freemason term, by the way. Yes, it is. That's a Freemason term. It, yeah. Just like the New World translation is a Freemason term. Well, the New World Order. You notice yeah. witnesses quit using that because it's a Freemason yeah, term. Yeah, exactly. But that is another video coming up because we are doing research on Watchtower's connection to Freemason and Illuminati. Even even more in depth than what we've done in the previous past. Yeah. So anyway, okay. um, we're getting ready to go into the so, city. We are going to spend the day yeah. with our kids today. So if you are drinking coffee, if you are uh, drinking water or tea, or if you're chewing breakfast or having dinner, please... Stop what you're doing because I guarantee you, you're going to spit it out when I get to this point. Your computer screen's going to be full yeah, of... full of water, whatever. food particles, whatever. Because this... I, oh, my God. It's a I good just, thing Mikey's not eating breakfast because yeah, it, would it would be, be spewing everywhere. everywhere. I'd have to keep combing it out of my goatee. <laughs> okay, are we ready for this one? Okay, now, Jehovah's Witnesses, I'm serious. You need to pay attention to what's being said here because you have to recognize, you have to distinguish between right and wrong. You have to recognize that Watchtower has always proclaimed that God's Holy Spirit is directing them. So God's Holy Spirit directed them to print this. And I'm going to show you a point while this is all, while we're going through this material, you need you need to remove the lie from your heart and recognize what you're involved with. Most Jehovah's Witnesses, especially the new generation, you don't know their history. You don't know what has been printed I in the past. I didn't even know this yeah, until did, last night. We did not know this, you know. And I know they will use the excuse, oh, well, that's old light. It's a good thing we've evolved since then. Yeah, no, 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 no. Because, see, God's Spirit is incapable of manufacturing lies. And if God's Spirit directed them to print the Golden Age, which became the Awake, 
that God's Spirit is manufacturing lies, Jehovah's Witnesses. You have to comprehend what's taking place here. Well, maybe it wasn't God's spirit. Maybe it no. was the whiskey spirits. Rutherford was smashed out I, of his gourd when think, he wrote this yeah, one. I think he was drunk off his ass when he wrote this, this one. Okay, we're ready to read this hey, one. I think we can come up with a good question from reading <laughs> on this one. <laughs> All right, let's go. With, wow. let's, let's get on with it because I am, I am fired up. Okay, question. Will husband and wife live together after the resurrection is completed if both are in harmony with God? Okay, now, you know what? Honestly, that is a reasonable question. That's I mean, honestly, question. I mean, all of us who believe in the paradise earth would want to know that. That's a reasonable question. Yeah. Now, watch how it gets ridiculous in a hurry. Yeah. Answer. The scriptures do not reveal what the relationship of men and women will be after the resurrection is completed. Watchtower, Rutherford, you should have stopped right there. You you should have left that be. Because that's right, the scriptures do not indicate that. Except for the fact that the scriptures do indicate that children are a blessing from God. So even after the thousand years or during the thousand years, why would God take that blessing away from mankind? It doesn't seem reasonable he would. Yeah. So now they should have left this. it there because that would have been fine. That was reasonable. That was yeah. logical. That was the truth. Wait for it. Here comes the manufactured ignorance. Train your perceptive powers to distinguish between right and wrong. Here comes the... <laughs> and yes, that is a pile of... Bullshit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it what it is. <laughs> okay. Continue. Woo! Yeah, the most that we know is that there will be no children. Wait, wait, wait. There will be no children, children born during the last one hundred years of the millennium. So, so the the day that Christ starts the thousand year reign, everybody on earth will be able to have children up to nine hundred years, and then bam, nine hundred and ninety years. Nine hundred. Yeah, nine hundred years. Now. Yeah, at nine hundred years, time. all childbearing is going to stop. Okay, and then yep. they quote Isaiah sixty-five twenty. Okay, well let's let's uh, I'm I'm going to go back to Isaiah sixty-five twenty, and I'm going to show you where again Watchtown Bible Tract <laughs> Society has got their tit in the proverbial ringer. Okay, okay. Um, during the last one hundred years of the millennium, nor any born after that. <laughs> so guess what? No more children on earth after the thousand years. That blessing from Jehovah about children, it's gone, people. It's it it's all gone. After the thousand years, there will be no more children on earth. And Watchtower explains the reason why. Well, I can't imagine a world without children. I mean, I, that would be like a world without kittens and puppies. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. You mean to tell me that after the thousand years, we're going to enjoy baby kittens, baby puppies, hell, a baby elephant, and yet children? I mean, human beings are going to be denied that after the thousand years. That's illogical to conclude that. Okay. That's not training your perceptive powers to distinguish between right and wrong. But hey, this gets even better because yeah. watch how it gives an explanation why there's not going to be any more children. Born after that. Because men and women do not have children after they reach the age of a hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a so minute. So they're applying today's... But, but no, no, hold, hold the phone. Here's the manufactured ignorance, okay? <clears throat> All right. Let's just assume that Kim and I make it to this millennial, to the start of the millennial reign of Christ, okay? <clears throat> Kim and I decide to have another child. Now, we're already 52, so let's just say, just for the hell of it, that this paradise doesn't begin for another hundred years. That means I'm 102 years. So that means to tell, you, so they're telling me that you, you and I can no longer have children because we're already passing. No, what if somebody was born the day after this Armageddon and they grow up to be 20, 25, 30, decide to start a family? They have one child, two child, but yet when they reach 100, they have another 800 years that they can't bear children. That's illogical. That's, again, manufactured ignorance. But, hey, but it gets better. Yeah, if you'd let me finish. Oh, uh, hey, i got to put my rant in here because this is just how ridiculous this is. I know. You're excited. 
Okay, whether the identity of the sexes as such will be preserved, we do not know. Huh? Okay, what? Question mark. The, the identity of the sexes will be preserved? <laughs> what in the hell were you smoking, Rutherford? Okay, so question. There have been some well-authenticated instances in which women have been transformed into men. Really? I haven't read any I have except never by doctor's by intervention, doctor's you know, intervention. in these sex change operations. So I don't know if that's what they're talking <laughs> to the or a miracle instantaneous combustion of changing sexes. I don't know. What in the hell was the Holy Spirit telling you to write this crap for? Uh, like I said, it was spirits, but it wasn't really. There have holy. been some well-authenticated... Now, notice, in this article, they do not give any references to this well-authenticated instances. Or not one reference to this well-authenticated instance. Yeah, which women have been transformed into men. And it is possible that this transformation may become general and we shall all be brothers together. Guess what? <laughs> Jehovah's Witnesses, you now have a homo paradise. There it is. In the new system, women will be transformed into men, and there will be no more women on earth, thus there will be no more children on earth. You're going to be living in a world that is ruled and dominated completely by men, because women will... Do you see, Jehovah's Witnesses, did that train your perceptive powers to distinguish between right and wrong? You have to recognize one simple watchtower fact, that they were being directed by God's Holy Spirit when they were writing that crap. Do you understand? Now, I'm going to go, and I'm going to, yes, exactly. <laughs> he was drunk off his ass. So now, since this question from readers, they quoted... Or they, they reference Isaiah 65.20. I'm going to go to my many translations. And I'm going to show you what Watchtower has done. Because they got caught with their tit in the proverbial ringer. Um, there is going to be no women. So there's no tits. Well, that's, that's true. <laughs> well, how about a man? How about a man titty? A man nipple? A man nipple. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. Okay, Isaiah. I just want to say that if I'm going to be transformed into a man in paradise, I don't want to be there. No. No, I mean, can, can, can you imagine a world without the love between a man and a woman? That That's utterly ridiculous. I mean, Adam saw the animal kingdom and then quickly realized that he was without a mate. He was quickly without a helper. And that's something that man, Adam, longed for. You know, God's not going to take that away from us. See, and the thing is, is, you know, like I said, we don't have anything against homosexuals. No. You know, and I know that love can be just as strong and the same. But the thing is, is to have that forced on us that where everyone is going to be men, that is just utter bullshit. Yeah, that's... So... And excuse my language, I know I don't usually <laughs> swear like yeah. that on camera, but this is. This this is ridiculous. So I'm There's going, no other word to describe it. Okay, now you have to realize that when the uh, drunk off his ass, Judge Rutherford, when he used that or referenced the scripture in Isaiah 65, 20, the only Bible they had at that time that they were using was the King James Version. So what I'm going to do is I have a copy of the King James Version. I'm going to read that scripture. Okay. Isaiah 65:20. Let's see. There shall be no more fence an infant of days, nor an old man that hath not filled his days. For the child shall die an hundred years old. But the sinner began, uh, let's see, but the sinner began being, a, being a, and well, the problem is, it's, it's these are thou's and the and. And little tiny. Yes. <clears throat> Uh, but the sinner, being an hundred years old, shall be accursed. Okay, so really, Judge Rutherford... How they get all that from that scripture, I have no I idea. I don't know. But what I want to do is I want to go to the New World translation, you know, that I affectionately refer to as the old rusty sword, because now they have the new silver sword. 
And this is where Watchtower is done. Okay? Brick by brick. Isaiah 65, 20. Because you, you have to realize <clears throat> that according to Watchtower land, in the little, you know, spiritual paradise that they're living in, this New World Translation, along with the uh, Truth Book, became their crowning achievement in their own minds, that is. Because there's not one scholar in the world that will profess the New World Translation as being a superior translation, because it's not. And right off the bat, biblical scholars of the world recognize that. That's why no one endorses the New World Translation. But I'm going to use it, and then I'm going to go to other translations. I, because what Watchtower had to do... They had to manufacture their own Bible to cover this piece of crap that they wrote back here in 1930. <clears throat> Isaiah 65, 20. It says, No more will there come to be a suckling a few days old from that place, neither an old man that does not fulfill his days. For one will die as a mere boy, although a hundred years of age. And as for the sinner, although a hundred years of age, he um, he will have evil called down upon him. <clears throat> so, just really quickly putting it in your mind, you can see that there's a few more verses added into Isaiah 65 in the New World Translation, as opposed from the King James Version. So yeah. they added they added a few more verses. Now, I was going <clears> to <throat> say, don't spill your coffee. I'm trying not to. Okay, so now I'm going to read the same scripture from the complete Jewish Bible. Isaiah, now notice that there's a few less words. Isaiah 65, 20. No more will babies die in infancy. And no more will an old man die short of his days. And he who dies at a hundred will be thought young. And at less than a hundred thought cursed. Okay? Well, first thing I think of is they believe in this paradise. Nobody's going to die. It says someone will die... An old, an old man. I mean, yeah, we'll we'll die at a hundred years, but he'll be a young man when he. Um, that so these scriptures don't apply. First of all, to the thousand year reign or after the thousand year reign. Okay, yeah. that's for another day. That is to be discussed at a later date. But here again, the complete Jewish Bible. No more will babies die in infancy. Okay, this is nothing about there being no kids at all. The Hallelujah Scriptures, Isaiah 65, 20. No more is an infant from there going to live but a few days, nor an old man who does not complete his days. For the youth dies 100 years old, but the sinner being 100 years old shall be lightly esteemed. Okay, lightly glorified. Okay, now... The um, complete, uh, the contemporary English version, Isaiah sixty-five twenty. No child will die in infancy. Everyone will live to a ripe old age. Anyone a hundred years old will be considered young, and uh, and to die younger than that will be considered a curse. So okay. I got a question. What has this got to do with paradise where they think everything's going to be perfect and no death? Well, it, it, it doesn't sound like it applies to that to how, me. How does Isaiah 65, 20 e even come close to indicating that women will be tra will be transformed, transformed into, yeah, into women? I mean, I, oh, uh, how would a woman be transferred in, uh, into... If this is so freaking ridiculous, I can't even keep it straight. My God! <sighs> manufactured ignorance. But as I read through those scriptures as opposed to the new, the old rusty, so, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to reread those scriptures from the New World Translation, a.k.a. the old rusty sword. Isaiah. Well, they're 60, throwing that Bible in the trash, so it yeah. doesn't apply anymore. Yeah. Isaiah 65, 20. No more will there come to be a suckling a few days old from that place. Neither an old man that does not fulfill his days. For one will die as a mere boy, although a hundred years of age. And as for the sinner, although a hundred years of age, he will have evil called down upon him. Now, from the new, 
from the revised Silver New Sword. World translation. Now, notice in the other translations, it very plainly stated that no more would an infant die. Okay? No more would they have infant death syndrome like what they do today. See, the nation of Israel was not going to suffer that type of loss for a period of time. And that's what Isaiah is talking about. Okay? But show them so that yep. the Jehovah's Witnesses can see that yes, we do actually have a copy of your new yep, Bible. Right from your revised New World Translation. Isaiah 65 20. No more will there be an infant from that place who lives but only a few days, nor an old man who fails to live out his days. For anyone who dies at a hundred will be considered a mere boy and the sinner will be cursed even though he ha even though he is a hundred years of age they've changed it do you see how in the revised new world translation watchtower had to put that line put that scripture in line with all of the other bibles that i read from as opposed from the new world translation see again you read it from the new world translation and it doesn't say anything about an infant dying. It just says, uh, 6520, No more will there come to be a suckling a few days old from that place. Which makes it sound like if they want to apply that to the new system. That, exactly. You know, there's not going to be any children. There's not going to be any children. So, Watchtower, Rutherford, Jehovah's Witnesses, you have to train your perceptive powers to distinguish between right and wrong. And when Rutherford printed this piece of crap in the Golden Age, that was wrong. Absolutely, utterly wrong. And that's coming from an organization that has always claimed to be directed by God's Holy Spirit. So the challenge to you, Jehovah's Witnesses, is how do you get around something like this <clears throat> without without whispering it away under new light, new light, shh, shh. The yeah. light's getting brighter as we get closer to the end. Well, I got a question. Okay, if Rutherford was the president when, suppose they believe Christ came down and inspected the entire world and chose them to be his spiritual temple and started cleansing them, why did he choose Rutherford, who was a known alcoholic and who's printing this kind of crap you know, how is that any different than any other religion? Yeah, What exactly. made them so special when they're printing this stuff? And they were still using the cross, you know, the There's... cross and crown Knights Templar symbol on their literature. They were still using, you know, the cross in their, you know, worship. They yeah. even wore those little pins on their lapel of the cross and crown to identify them as one of the Bible students. Yeah, which was a Freemason symbol. Okay, so I just want to go back. <clears throat> Question. Will husband and wife live together after the resurrection is completed if both are in harmony with God? The answer. The scriptures do not reveal what the relationship of men and women will be after the resurrection is completed. Period. Watchtower, you should have left it alone. But then you manufacture the ignorance. The most that we know. See, we know this. They don't say, well, we can speculate, we can theorize, we know that there will be no children born during the last hundred years of the millennium. You know that for a fact, Watchtower. You can't possibly know that because you were wrong about 1914. That's why the overlapping generation bullshit now exists, because you were wrong. See, you were wrong, Watchtower. Okay, nor any born after that. So at 900 years into this millennium of Christ, that's it. No more kids. You know that, don't you, Watchtower? Because God's Spirit is directing you to print this, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, let, let me have that picture. Um, this is what is leading you, Watchtower. That's a pile of crap. I'm going to go on because this is... This is manufactured ignorance almost at its best. Repeat for infants. Yes. 
So, nor any born after that, because men and women do not have children after they reach the age of a hundred years. You know that. God's Holy Spirit told you that. So, 400 years into this millennium of Christ, Kim and I can't have any more kids? Is that logical? No. That's manufactured ignorance is what that is. Okay? Whether, okay, uh... They will have no more children when they reach a hundred years. Whether the identity of the sex sexes as such, male and female, will be preserved, we do not know. There have been some... But yet they're putting that question yeah, in their mind. <sighs> oh, do they know something we don't know? Well, yeah, because they're, because they're being directed by God's Holy Spirit, so they know something we don't know. <gasps> oh, oh. Jeez. There have been some well-authenticated instances in which women have been transformed into men. And it is possible that this transformation may become general and we shall all be brothers together. There it is, Watchtower. In 1930, your president, Judge Rutherford, the drunk-ass joker, was was beginning to preach that your thousand year after the thousand years the world will all be a homo paradise. Um, let me ask you: Do you want to live in a paradise where where there's only men? Hell no! Hell no! I I, I know it'd be great, you know, sitting around the campfire drinking, but who's gonna cuddle up to you and keep you warm? Yeah. Ray? Bob? Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe it'll be Brother Rutherford. Ooh. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Anthony, Anthony Morris the, the turd. turd. <laughs> hey, buddy, you look charming in that suit. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to get a hold of you during, after that thousand years. <laughs> Jehovah's Witnesses, honestly, you have to see how ridiculous this organization is. They cannot claim to be God's channel to mankind while they're printing this type of nonsense in their magazines. And they cannot be using God's Spirit if they have to now recorrect the New World Translation. And they can't be God's Spirit-directed organization by making these type of mistakes. And we know there is someone translating our videos now into French. I will give you the word for this little gem we found. Mirrored. Mirrored, yes. <laughs> Mirrored, exactly. <laughs> I know what you say, Tim uh, Did I do that right? Yeah, I think so. Anyhow, I hope this one makes sense to a lot of the folks, and I hope this one really makes sense in the mind of a Jehovah Witness, because what Rutherford preached as absolute truth back then is... Absolute, utterly. Merd. <laughs> Kaka.